So here we are at Sherwood Restorations with their lovely Mimosa Yellow Triumph Stag. And obviously, if you think Triumph Stag, most people immediately think the words overheating. They were infamous for it in the 1970s, and it's unfortunately the reason why this car, which is a magnificent product on paper, did not achieve the success it arguably deserved. But why is that? Let's uh, open the bonnet and we'll talk more about what went wrong with the Stag engine. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. Uh, now we're looking at the frankly fantastically clean uh, engine bay of this stag so uh, what was it that caused the infamous overheating problems well the first thing to mention is the lack of quality control at the uh, triumph factory which meant that a lot of these engines left the factory with casting sand still in the blocks and the heads which obviously clogs up the waterways and means that the coolant can't flow and that's not going to do any engine any good. But there are some more fundamental design uh, quirks and uh, issues with the engine as well. Water pump is pretty much the highest point in the uh, not only the engine but the cooling system it's on top of the engine between the V's under the uh, air cleaners here so that meant that being the highest point any amount of water loss usually meant that the water pump lost its prime and again the coolant stopped circulating and that feature was because Triumph engine was designed with half a mind of being supplied to Saab and because Saabs have their engines backwards because they are front wheel drive with the engine on top of the transmission the water pump has to be accessible from the top so because of Saab the Triumph had to have its uh, water pump in an odd place. And then there are other weird packaging issues like the expansion tank. The bottle is right down here, halfway down the radiator, almost the lowest point of the cooling system, which equally promotes air locks and things if the system isn't bled properly. And then we're looking at things like the cylinder heads, the cylinder head bolts, one set of them were at an angle. This just allow easy assembly at the factory. It also meant that the head gasket wasn't properly supported, so you got cylinder head shuffle, which led to coolant leaks. You had the uh, inlet manifolds here, which also had a water gasket. They leaked, and because they leaked into the V, any coolant evaporated, so you couldn't see the water leaks, and any uh, dried antifreeze and things was hard to spot, so your stag could be losing coolant without you realizing until it got to the stage where it was so bad, the water pump lost its prime, and then the whole thing just cooked itself. So that is the stag's problems in a nutshell. The good news for anyone buying one today is that a lot of these problems have been solved either just by people doing proper maintenance, modern gaskets with better seals, better water pump drives and things like that. So really the infamous snag as it was once known is actually one of the most reliable cars on the classic car market today. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.